Okay guys, right, what we're gonna do in this lecture is we're gonna level the build plate. So the first thing we need to do is open the lid and we need to take the FEP out. Now I've taken mine out already. So make sure that you remove the FEP. Um, these are all loosened off. You can use a little wipe if you have one just to wipe off the LCD. And then we're going to undo the top big red knob here and bring out the build plate. Now mine's already set up, yours might be loose, but we need to use one of the little Allen keys in order to loosen this little screw inside here. Okay, and that's gonna let this whole unit move free. Now the other thing we need is we need some photocopier paper. This is just thin paper. I have two sheets here and I have one, it's just an A4 sheet cut in half. And this is gonna be laid in here. Okay, I'm gonna put it in there, just in there ready for us. And we're gonna now loosen up the build plate in order for it to move freely. Okay, this is really important. Okay, so now you're gonna have your little toolkit, any cubic give you, and you're gonna go and you're gonna grab the Allen key that fits inside here. So I probably got the wrong one here. Yeah, need the smaller one. And put it in there till it locates. Oh, wrong one. Okay, that's the one. Just need to put that in there. And I just need to loosen that off. Now, when I loosen that off, uh, this is going to be free. Do you see that? It's moving around. That's what we want. Okay, so with that all loose, keep your ha handy Allen key on the side. I'll put that one, this one by the way, the smaller one is for the FEP, for the FEP screws. So I'll put that back in there so it's all nice and clean. Now I'm going to attach this back into here. Now it's really important when you attach it that you push it nice and home and then you tighten this up nice and tight not too tight that you're forcing the machine but tight enough so that it doesn't move so i'm going to get this and be careful when you're holding this do not drop it because it will go through the lcd so i'm going to put it on the top put it home put it out and then push it back in again so put it out and push it back in tighten this up and then just give it a little bit of a force this should be loose in here yeah like that. And now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna level it. Now I'm gonna zoom in now on this so that you can see the displays. So I'm gonna pause the video a second whilst I set it up so you can see the displays. And in fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this paper down a little bit just so that you can see this display here. Now I have the machine all plugged in. Um, so it's all plugged in and ready to go. So I'll just cut a bit off there and put that back onto here. And now you can see it all nice and clear. This is all ready. So I've got the machine all plugged in. I just need to touch this. And we're gonna do that in a second. I'm just gonna pause the video whilst I zoom in so you can see the little, what's going on on the control panel there. Okay guys, so we're in position now. Uh, right, so what I wanna do is, um, you can see we've got in position, I've got the paper on there. I'm just gonna move this up so you can see the top plate there. You can see it's still up in that position. Remember this is still nice and loose in here. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom back down here now. And we're going to start to move this. So I'm gonna turn it on now. Okay, first thing is to turn it on. Hopefully that's nice and clear for you guys to see. You hear a little beep, that's all good. Just let the little screen come on, there it is. So we've got a little screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to hit the tools. Boom. Okay. Now, this is going to allow us to move it. And what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to actually get the plate to be level. So we're going to actually get this, the top build plate, to actually be um, flat. Uh, so we're not worrying about the actual... Um, distance yet we're just doing these these things so i'm going to go and go to z 
going to go to home, sorry, I'm going to go to move Z, and I'm going to hit home. And what's going to happen is the build plate is going to come down. You can probably see it coming down. It's just coming down. Don't worry about it. It's going to stop before it gets to the end. By the way, um, if you need to stop it in an emergency, that's the emergency key there. We're going to let it come all the way down. It should be into view now. There we go, and that will keep going. I always hover over the emergency just in case. And there we go. So that is home. Now that isn't in the right position. That is home though. Right, so we've got our plate is still movable. All right. And what I'm going to do is notice that this is selected here. One millimeter, 10 millimeters, 0 0.1. Now, do not press the 10 millimeter and press it down because it will push it and it might break the LCD. Really careful. Now, I can see I'm above one millimeter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to hit it once. Don't hit it twice. And we're going to get it basically into near position. I'm just going to check it. I've still got a millimeter of gap, but I'm going to go to 0 0.1 now. And I'm going to bring it down. And what I'm doing is now I'm now moving the paper and what I want I, if I move this side you can see it's a bit of friction there so it's not level so I need to keep going so I'm gonna go one more now what I want it to do is I want to check the build plate I want to check this distance on this edge on the other side as well to make sure I'm square it feels quite good I'm gonna bring it down one more and what's going to happen, one more, is it will start to pull like this. You can't push it in, but you can pull it out. Now that, to me, is pretty good. So I'm now going to just check those edges. I'm pulling it out a little bit so I can look at the alignment at the back. Just level it off. It's flat on the paper. And now I'm going to get my little Allen key and I'm going to tighten like this okay then I'm going to come in here with the little end and I'm going to tighten up so it's nice and tight I'm also then going to double check that still feels good tighten up even more now that is our bed level okay with there and it's level with the side everything looks good it's nice and tight so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring it up 10 millimeters like this. And what I want to do now is I actually want to level, um, I actually want to set it so that it's at the right zero. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to return back and we're going to go to Z equals zero. And we're going to do that in a minute because we're going to set it. So I'm going to go back to move going to put my paper back in here yep really important back in here we're going to bring this down one millimeter at a time and what we're looking for is when we get pulled now what I want to be able to do is pull the paper and not be able to push it back in so I'm going to keep going down one millimeter at a time just take it slowly okay now I'm going to go on to 0 0.1 and I'm basically pulling this in until I get resistance on this paper. Now I know it's all flat and level. A bit more. That's a bit of pull. A bit more. A bit more. One more. Now I can pull it out, but I can't push it back in. Okay, now that might be a bit too tight. No, I need, do need to come down one. But my look at if I pull there, it will pull just from those ends. So it shows my plate is exactly level. Now my plate is now level, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to return back, go z, z equals zero, I'm going to hit that, and I'm going to hit enter. Enter means that's correct. Return means return back to previous, and we don't want to do that. We want to hit enter. And now it goes setting all okay. All right, so now what we can do is move Z, hit home. This will go back up and it's ready for us so what I can do now is I can move this right to the top by just hitting this 
until it's clear of the vat pins that's these bits and that is now a level plate now because I had paper on the LCD I do want to make sure my LCD is nice and clean so I'm going to hit this a few times just get that out of the way that's great and I'm going to use one of my little wipes that I've got which I've already got one open here and I'm just going to wipe the LCD then I'm going to use my microfiber my nice microfiber cloth and I'm just going to go over the top till it's nice and clean And that is now leveled now you want to make sure that this LCD screen is nice and clean now another tip that you might want is to get some what's called vinyl tape it's really fine tape and just put it along the edges and what this can do is stop the LCD screen from pulling up let me just um, go up with this so you can see what I mean I'm gonna bring this up a bit the LCD screen here okay so they put it around this very edge and then it stops it pulling up um, lots of people do that now I would say with the build plate as well do make sure that you give the build plate a nice wash off as well okay but that is now level that is level ready to go is perfect all right so what I want to do in the next lesson now is talk about how I set up my FEP before I put it in there so we're finished with leveling so what I can do now is I can close this off and we can move into the next extra so I'm going to turn this off it will save those settings and we can go forwards so in the next lecture what I want to do now is I want to show you how I just prepare my FEP um, before I put it in here and then in the lecture after that, we're going to talk about making sure your firmware is up to date. So that is leveling the build plate with the Photon, any cubic Photon S. And I think pretty much the same thing applies to the Photon as well on leveling. So what I do is I bring it down, I level it um, just to the build plate. Then I actually take it back up and then I re-level it um, with the bed. Um, and the reason I do that is a two-step process because when you're tightening the um, top part up it sometimes will push it out um, you know so uh, by doing it two times by doing it level so the back beds flat flat then pulling it up and then re-leveling it again you're eliminating the chance of it going out um, twice so you're giving it a double check now I tried following what Photon do with their bed which is just to bring it down and level it straight away and to be honest I wasn't sure that that was working so I then followed this other guy on YouTube and uh, it's perfect and so that's the method that I've shown you there really easy once it's set up and it's level it's all good all right we know it's level with the build plate we got that resistance on the paper when we can pull it out but we can't push it back in and it's all level with the plate by pulling each side you can see if the bed is actually level or not all right so very simple but it's uh, this is critical all right when you get better at it you'll be more confident that you're doing it correctly a lot of people will think the build plate's wrong when it's actually maybe the FEP's not tightened or they just got the wrong settings on their um, slicer so let's move on now and I'll tell you about how I prepare my FEP ready to be put in there, ready to receive the resin.